Namaskara Guruji. My name is Archana. I have a question regarding astrology. During marriage, they match kundlis. And they say there are a lot of doshas in a girl and you know, she has to be married to a tree. There is kumbha dosha. Ah, that's a good partner. <laughs> that is the, uh, you know, ardhakala sarpa dosha and all of that. Is it required to match the kundlis? And what is this all about gotra? I want to know. Oh, I don't know about uh, the kundali, but uh, marrying a tree is a good idea. <laughs> Such a stable husband. No, they advise it uh, to cut it later, Actually, that's the problem. Actually, I'm… I'm offering something better. I can get you married to your mountain <laughs> Always there, you know, for you. Never messes with you, always there. Ideal man, isn't it? <laughs> So, uh, we are making too much fuss about two human beings coming together. After all, two human beings want to come together because there are needs, all right? There are physical needs, there are psychological needs, there are emotional needs, social, financial and other kinds of needs. To fulfill all this in a graceful manner, we make some arrangements so that we can fulfill these things gracefully because our needs are not any different from the needs of every other animal on the planet, same need. Only thing is, because we have a certain level of intelligence and sensitivity, we want to conduct that gracefully. That's what marriage is, right? Hello? People say it's made in heaven, that's why I think it fails. <laughs> Because fundamentally for two people to come together, it's very easy to match the stars, they can fix all those things, you know. But matching these two idiots, nobody knows how to do. <laughs> unless… unless you enter this engagement with this intent that somehow, somehow I must give the best, to the person who is sitting next to me right now. If you don't enter an engagement or any relationship with that, obviously it will become frictious. If you are looking at how to squeeze joy out of somebody, well, initially it will all be nice, it will look romantic, after some time it will be a disaster. Not because stars are clashing, simply because you are trying to squeeze happiness or joy out of somebody and they are trying to squeeze it out of you, inevitably it will become a conflict after some time. If you are seeing how to absolutely give myself to the other person and if that person also is doing that, then it becomes a wonderful relationship. If only you are doing that and the other person is not so much so, still your life will be good, his life will be messy. Yes? Because See, <laughs> can I tell you a joke? It's okay, it's a serious question but <laughs> it once happened, Dankaran Pillai was in the university. <laughs> so, uh, he went to his professor one day and said, Sir, I need your help on something very important. The professor said, of course, I'm here for that purpose, please tell me what you want. So then he mentioned the college beauty's name, maybe you, <laughs> and said, sir, I am absolutely in love with her and I'm fifty percent successful, I need your help. The professor said, see, I'm here to help you on academic aspects, not these kind of things. But anyway, what do you mean by saying you're fifty percent successful? He said, Sir, I'm totally in love with her but she doesn't know that other fifty percent I want you to fix for me <laughs> So even if it's fifty percent, when you are in love, it feels wonderful for you. It's actually better the other person doesn't know because now it's completely yours, both sides you can manage. Because human beings are, you know, they go up and down. 
So, to match two people, do you have to twist the planets and stars and everything? Absolutely no. It is just that we are making very big fuss about it, about the gotra you said. This was a simply… a simple way, a traditional way of managing genetic purity for breeding, because marriage is about breeding in the end, all right? You and me are here because somebody did breed, isn't it? So, maintaining genetic purity so that those who considered in some way brother and sister does not come in marriage together, they had an elaborate system, but that system is all messed up, nobody knows who is who now. In a few communities, a little bit remnants may be left. Largely, we don't know who is who. There are genetic studies, if you have it done, unfortunately you will see there is some… Uh, just now somebody was telling me in a shocking way in Bangalore, they said, Sadhguru, it seems I have some Romanian blood in me. I said, don't tell me how it happened, but <laughs> So, we don't know after thousands of years what has happened, it doesn't matter anymore. But in a close society, where people have lived very closely, it's important to maintain this because when everybody else thinks the man that you're marrying is your brother, it'll become very difficult to live there, you know. You are somewhere far away, you don't know from somewhere else through Twenty-five generations, you may end up marrying your brother, but you don't know and it's too far away. But in a close society, it matters. It's better to respect that if it's a very close society, but if you've moved out, you're in big cities, these things don't really matter. But in villages, it still matters because everybody knows everybody and it becomes troublesome socially. So you marry who you want. Because if you marry somebody that you don't want, you will make your life miserable and unfortunately that life also miserable. I'm trying to save the man. <laughs>